Hey guys, welcome to my channel Lunch Chess TV. This is a game that happened between Hare Krishna Pintala, who is playing white, versus Vishwanathan Anand playing black. Uh, it's a game between two Indian superstars at the Tata Steel Blitz Open, and this position arose from the opening that they played. And we can see from the game here that uh, the position is pretty much equal at this given point of time except that black has one extra pawn here which doesn't really do too much but then uh, you should see how Anand capitalized from the position here it's really interesting white should play, white should have played something like bishop h3 in this given point of time or even something like e4 get this knight out because this knight is in a central position doing a lot of harm we always know that the central positions uh, that is uh, somewhere in the center for uh, these squares are really important guys uh, he's trying to drive the knight away from the center uh, white could have done that but instead Hare Krishna didn't play a really good move he played something in, like in h4 um, I think this was the main reason why I made this video because even grandmasters miss out the good moves. The good move here was to play e4. Uh, Hare Krishna chose to play nh4. There are two threats here obviously. One is capturing the knight on d5 with the bishop and then um, capturing the pawn and then the other uh, threat here is bringing the knight to f5. Obviously it uh, looks like a good move but then you should see how Anand capitalized from here because uh, that's the most important part. Anand played knight c3 attacking the rook on d1. Rook d6. Uh, the spawn as well. This is hanging. And then after taking the spawn, black can come here. Uh, defend the spawn again. Not really much of a deal there check as i said knight d4 queen e4 rook c d8 bishop takes b4 there's not really much of a play for Hare krishna here but then the superstar still chose to uh, attack on the king's side by getting all his pieces on the king's side and making some kind of uh, decisive attacking strategy let's see how it will go for him we obviously got to admit that uh, Anand's defense is really good and you should also see the way he how he counteracted with the position here this is like this is something like a completely um, this is a strategy adopted by Anand that you can see obviously that when something was going on on the king's side somewhere over here black is trying to like confuse white by moving his pawn on the queen's side changing his attention over to the queen's side by promoting his pawn to the queen and thus this is causing a lot of havoc for white Queen b1. Black is clearly winning here guys. There's uh, no second thoughts about it. Uh, what's the best move here? What do you suggest is the best move? Could you pause the video and think about it for a second? Bishop d3 obviously. The reason is because if black, uh, if white captured the bishop, then black would just queen and queen the pawn here. If white mode is queen somewhere, obviously the queening would still happen. So, bishop d3, queen a to check, queen b3, and uh, Hare Krishna resigned here. So, this is an interesting game here, guys, played between the two Indian superstars. Um, so I mean I hope you like the analysis if you like the analysis uh, hit the follow button hit the subscribe button and also leave a comment down below 
as to what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Thank you guys.